Mr. Tannen's Tie Trouble by Mary Ann Coco Leffler Mr. Tannen loves being the principal of the Lynnhurst School. He also loves ties. In fact, he has almost 1,000 crazy ties. Whenever Mr. Tannen returned from winter vacation, he received a call from Mr. Apple at the school department. Mr. Apple told him that because many things at the school had to be fixed, there wasn't enough money left for a new playground. Mr. Tannen sadly hung up the phone and gazed out at the broken-down playground. He heard a clink-clank. He looked up to see Kaylee and Alex lugging in a big jar filled with money. Here it is! A hundred and forty-eight dollars and twenty-nine cents for the playground fund, said Kaylee proudly. New playground, here we come, cheered Alex. Mr. Tannen didn't know what to say. After school, Mr. Tannen sat in his office staring at the jar. He sighed. <sighs> now I'm in a real pickle. This is not enough money for a playground. The kids will be so disappointed. Mr. Apple's words floated through his head. The playground will have to wait. You'll think of something. I wish our account was as full as your tie closet. Hmm, as full as my tie closet, repeated Mr. Tannen. He jumped up, opened his closet, and shouted, That's it! My ties! Lynnhurst School will have a new playground! The next day, the entire town was plastered with signs. Mr. Tannen's Tie Auction, Saturday at 7 p.m. at the Lynnhurst School. A tie for any occasion. All ties must go. Mrs. Sweetapple noticed the sign on the grocery store window. She called her husband, Mr. Apple. Why is Mr. Tannen selling all of his ties? Has he gone crazy? Mr. Apple told her about the school budget and the playground money. The town was buzzing all day. Mrs. Sweetapple called Monsieur Bazou at the bakery. Who called Cleo at the cleaners? Who called Dr. Demi the dentist? It went on and on until even the Zack, the night watchman at the zoo, got the word. Mr. Tannen is selling his ties! On Saturday, the whole town showed up for the auction. Monsieur Bijou started the bidding. I'll give you fifty dollars for the donut and Danish tie. Lolly the librarian bought the book tie. Dr. Demi was the proud owner of the toothbrush tie. Kaylee handed over her entire piggy bank for the hot dog tie. Mrs. Sweetapple just had to have the wedding bells tie. And, of course, Mr. Apple chuckled as he paid quite a bit of cash for the crab apple tie. The auction was a huge success. Every tie was sold, except one. Mr. Tannen couldn't part with his beloved blue ribbon tie. It was a present from Mr. Apple for being a great principal. He looked out at the sea of townspeople, all wearing his ties. Thank you all. I have always taught my students, the more you give, the more you get. With this money, the Lynnhurst School will have a new playground. Mr. Tannen swallowed hard. My ties now belong to the town. Wear them proudly. And throughout the spring, that's just what everyone did. But sometimes Mr. Tannen would forget his closet was empty. He would open it to get a tie, and with a tinge of sadness, he would remember. He only had one tie, and he was wearing it. Then he'd look outside at the playground being built. You have to give to get, he thought. Soon, it was opening day at the new playground. Mr. Tannen had invited the whole town to the ribbon-cutting ceremony. He tucked his speech in his pocket, grabbed his special scissors, and adjusted his tie. He wished he had on his official ribbon-cutting tie. The schoolyard was overflowing with people. Mr. Tannen made his way through the crowd. Then he saw it. Mr. Tannen's Playground. The playground was tied in a giant ribbon made from Mr. Tannen's ties. Mrs. Sweetapple and Mr. Apple were at the microphone. Mr. Tannen, you have taught us all, the more you give, the more you get, said Mrs. Sweetapple. You have given us a playground. 
We are giving you back your ties. With that, Mr. Apple untied the tie ribbon and announced, Mr. Tannen's Playground is now open. Mr. Tannen and his ties were together again. He slipped on his swing and slide tie and smiled. <laughs>